Hello, welcome back. I think this is part nine. I hardly even keep track anymore, but anyway, we're back in our Drissian Kingdom campaign using the Divide at Emperor mod. And we have finally made it into Italy. Now, if I remember correctly, we were just going to make a quick push down to Cosentia. Cosentia? and try and take it before Carthage starts pushing. Because I don't want to share any of this with... Oh, there's Benefantum. I don't want to share any of this with Carthage. I want it all to be mine. I'm selfish. These guys were recruiting, and I believe I was going to just bring them over and have them fight. So we'll move them this way and have them continue recruiting for now. We don't want to take our warrior or elite population out of here just yet much rather use foreigners for now. I thought I recruited a bunch of these guys, but I guess not. Oh, this army has too many missiles. Way too many missiles, actually. Well, let's go ahead and recruit this unit. Now, these guys... Okay, we're getting some heavier infantry up here. And we don't have access to the noble units yet. But it looks like we will in two turns. So that army isn't going to make it over here just yet. In the meantime, we are recruiting a third army. Fleshing out our army over here. Alright, and we've got to wait on technology. Yeah, so we actually have to wait quite a while to be able to convert that. So I'm just going to go ahead and dismantle it. Actually... Not yet, because that might be the building that's letting me recruit. That might be the building that's letting me recruit these guys, and I definitely want to recruit as many of them as I can. Alright. Just double checking that everyone's deployed, and the armies have moved as they need to. Do a quick check over all of the provinces. Looks like everywhere is taken care of. Now, diplomatically, we might be in a little bit of trouble, because this guy, we're going to start losing loyalty pretty quick. And we can't just send him on missions any... Wait, we can. I thought we put this guy in an army. Who did... We... Oh, we re-recruited our king. Okay, that's what happened. Well, in that case... Let's... Actually, for now, I'm going to send him over to Italia to help out with the food problem there. Because we're going to run out of supplies over here sooner or later. And we need supplies to keep our armies fed, of course. Moving on. an interesting play from Rome. That might make it so I can just auto-resolve the settlement battle and then go take them on in their fort. Because I believe it's fall this upcoming turn. Nope, winter. So maybe I can't reach far enough to actually attack. Good, so we got that from an event. These guys should be taking attrition because they're in the open water without any supplies, right? That's how that's supposed to work. Good news, I can reach the city. Us. 
Now we could win this pretty decisively with the one army. But we need to win decisively enough that we can withstand a counterattack. And I'm not entirely sure that we can do that. Because our garrison here is going to be basically non-existent. I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what I should do, because these guys could potentially land on this beach and attack Terrace, I think. So let's go ahead and move him into the city and continue recruiting. Okay, so that's as many as of them as I am allowed. We'll just recruit some missiles over here, I guess. Because of these warrior units, this army is not going to be able to replenish anytime soon. This army is almost exclusively foreigners, except for some of our missiles and... Well, I guess maybe half of that army is foreigners. So if we can just use this army and get it beat up, we should be totally fine. Uh, I think I am just going to go ahead and bring this down here. Now, honestly, normally this is the kind of battle I like to fight because it's easy, but I think I'll just auto-resolve it because it's so heavily in our favor. Go with balanced just to try and minimize our casualties. I'm not sure that I could have done better than 92% survival here. But I probably could have kept my warriors from getting beat up so bad. I would have used these guys more heavily. Whatever. It's in the past at this point. I don't really need the money, so again, I'm just going to occupy it. We'll start looking at converting it in just a moment, but for now... Which one had the movement range? This one. For now, I don't want to spend a ton of money on this city, because we still have two Roman armies down here to deal with. Ready for orders. I will dismantle this, though. Because I don't think I'll be recruiting in Italy very much. I think I'll be recruiting back over here in Thrake. Because that's where I've got population. Alright, so we've got our Italian armies squared away. These guys I'm going to just leave in position for the time being. Because I want to recruit two Ballista. And I also want to get some noble troops. So yeah, instead of recruiting, I'm going to just pop you guys into patrol stance, boost our income a little bit more. Because as you can see, our income has dropped quite substantially since we've started recruiting these heavier Italian units. And since we're raising basically two and a half armies right now. Now, just in case this army decides to land and attack... I am going to bring the Terrors of the Sea into the dock here. Shockingly, there's enough for me to recruit a unit. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit a couple of units. Because I mainly just need a 20 stack here. I don't necessarily care what's in it. This spy will have been undeployed. We've already got one over here. Let's see how Carthage feels about us. I wonder if Carthage will hate us for taking Italy. Doesn't look like it. I wonder if for the time being I could get some sort of defensive alliance with Carthage. How may we help you? Do 
Jeez, dude, they are at war all over the place. Spain, the Alps, Africa. Yikes. I welcome you, worthy speaker. Get military access? No, because... that's unfortunate because that would boost our friendship with them a little more, and I feel like I could use that. Welcome, welcome. Since these guys still are not at war with Olympian anyone. Hospitality, I welcome you and will Maybe it is safe to get tech. defensive alliance, but they don't want it that bad anymore. Maybe a missed opportunity. All right, looks like we're good for this turn. Except I've just remembered my spy that I was going to move. I started looking at diplomacy because I was thinking about moving a spy down here to keep an eye on Carthage. But since we're good enough friends with Carthage, I think I'm just going to send the spy up here. We'll just kind of leapfrog, <laughs> leapfrog, leapfrog our spies through Italy, just as some extra security. I'm going to hire some mercenaries here. Because I really don't want to lose this city and have to go retake it with beat up armies. The Spearmen. I was going to swap out some of these missiles with this army. Was I? I feel like that's what I was going to do. I don't know. I can't remember. For now, just go to Apollonia and do that. Fine on loyalty. Does anyone need to get married? No, but we're... kids are dropping. Well, we've still only lost three of them. That's unfortunate, but what can you do? Next turn. a mighty people, well versed in the uses of wealth and power, and so we love gold. Can I convince them to do it for less money? Or no money? <laughs> Didn't think so. Uh, see, I already have these two, so it's not like I can really convince them with anything else. If I offer them a payment, it's going to be the 97. See, I just, I don't want Defensive Alliance that bad with Pergamon. These guys, maybe. Well, if you're military the allies, whatever, we'll take it. Whatever. We do need to have some friends. I just hope Pergamon is the right friends. Did these guys take attrition? They're positive on supply and money. Is it just because it was a harsh winter? That might have been it. It was a harsh winter or something. Okay, so we got a barracks completed. Should actually look at where that barracks was completed. Okay. Okay, can we get the nobles yet? No. I'm wondering if it's worth waiting at this point.
Okay, let's grab a couple of these guys. And a unit of cavalry. I mean, that's a pretty substantial difference in cost. But I like the higher melee attack. So we'll go with that and then move these guys down, pick up some ballista, and then come across. Because we need to be ready to take down Rome. These guys are on the move. Which I would imagine means they're going for Apollonia. Okay, how's our garrison looking at Taras? Still beat up pretty bad, obviously. Would it be enough to hold against a Roman legion? Not a chance. Let's get some food over here. Why are they no longer fortified? That seems really weird to me. Yeah, we'll get the campaign movement range. That's good. Okay, these guys are relatively... Well, relatively. They're pretty much all light troops, so they'll have an easy enough time reinforcing... But we need to get them in position first. I almost forgot that. Because it's not like a city where you can siege them and then move in. Alright, let's go ahead and fight this one. They have one phalanx unit. And a ton of missiles. Do we have the cavalry to handle it? <laughs> Probably. And I got the hiccups now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use the fog, actually. Since they have so many missiles, it might be helpful to hurt their accuracy. Now I understand that pulling back here guarantees them the high ground, but whatever. Okay. I do want to get a little bit set up here, just in case for whatever reason they charge at me. Just look at how dense, I mean, see, look at these guys, my little light dudes that kind of look like Peltas. They're basically just wearing tunics. These guys actually have some scale armor. And then you get over to the Italians, and man, these guys just look so good. That guy doesn't look as well armored, but whatever. I love this unit. Maybe they're not as good as I like to think, but I like the unit a lot anyway. Let's actually go ahead and send the cav forward, just as a scouting force. Our reinforcements have arrived. The gods. Then draw your weapons and leave a path to the glory of our homeland. That was not the unit I intended to select. This is the unit I wanted. Now the Romans do have some cavalry. Ready. 
I didn't have another unit of those guys, did I? Okay, let's set up a big old long front line. You guys can be my left flank. Cantabrian Circle? It is. Uh, we'll just stick you guys in the rear. I, I probably shouldn't say it like that. We'll put you guys in the back for now. Now these Peltusts. Oh, where was the... Right here. Okay, so we have our Peltusts. I'm going to want you guys on the right flank, because I think that's where we're looking pretty strong right now. We'll just get all the bows together in a line. Just line them up behind the hoplites. Still no visual on the enemy. Apologize if the highly mobile camera drives you crazy. All right, now our spears. What are we going to do with you? We're going to put you in a line back here. You guys can go ahead and hold in reserve. Wow, look at that mess. three units of spears that's making that look so ugly. I would expect them to be basically just on top of the hill. does sometimes do some weird stuff. Time to go, time to go. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. you doing? Get them. Just go get them. They're out of position. Go get them. I want neither of you guys to use your missiles yet. I wish I had a third unit of cavalry. Okay, now the goal is to just break these guys quickly. That wasn't even a charge, guys. Come on. I might not get, like, any kills here. Look at that. Two kills because they didn't even charge. I'm just going to ditch that. That was, that was horrible. They're probably going to get more kills on me than I got on them. Okay, time to drop out of there and bring the generals up to support. Somehow we're yet to lose a man. Come on, bring their bring their cav all the way up into the generals. Also, generals, you all gotta hurry up.
front line just set up now. Everyone over here except the generals start rotating. Also not what I wanted. Our general is under attack. You guys go ahead and keep running. You guys go get him. Don't want my missiles to just start shooting. Okay, now I'm going to need to pull my generals back. Since their cav is retreating out of that fight, I'm just going to go ahead and leave because I don't want to get caught with too much missile fire. So instead, we'll see if we can just eliminate this unit here. You guys disengage. And try and catch their cavalry on the way in. Alright, that's not a good way to select my missiles. Put them on guard mode. Okay, you go ahead and inspire everyone here. Because you guys need to kill at least one of these units. Like now. I want to pull one of these generals out soon. My cavalry is winning. Bring one unit of spears up to help out. Okay, everyone just get out of there. Generals, both of you guys just pull back through. Missile Cav, come over here. Now, I might have to put this on slow motion because I have a really hard time dealing with this much micro. You guys, go catch their horse if you can. You move over, be in position to support. We are going to need cavalry over here to take on their slingers, or their missiles that are still out here. Okay, front line is engaged. Let's keep them in reserve. Move a couple of these move a couple of these guys around the flank, send the Peltas around. What are our archers doing? Still working on those guys. Not great. You guys get a volley into them if you can. You guys just chase them off. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, they got a good charge on us, so we're gonna we're gonna be hurting, but I don't want to pull out of this because that's gonna hurt us even worse. Not what I meant to do. I meant to select you guys. Just you guys. Rotate around. Okay, we're starting to get our melee troops around. You guys break phalanx and get in on them. Peltas start working the flank as well. You guys be prepared to fill in on the front. Okay, my infantry looks like it's doing okay for now. My archers have done just fine. My cavalry's finally about to win their fight. You guys just keep chasing them. I don't need you at the front very bad. 
give them a volley. Nope, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, I really want these Peltists to set up and get their job done right. Still haven't dealt with the cavalry. I should really have sent these guys over to help out, but you know, mistakes were made. These guys are getting owned, holy cow. I was expecting Spartans to do better than that. You guys have fun. You guys charge. You guys keep working around. All right, everyone just get in there. Except the spears are not that Okay, come on, engage them. chase these guys to the ends of the earth. And honestly, since I've got light spears, that might not be a terrible thing. Let's go ahead and move you guys over. Peltus, go deal with them. Actually, you guys start to close the flank, why don't you? Thracian warriors have the high shock value. Cavalry just keep chasing them until the end of the earth. Give them a volley before we bother sending in the spears. The men are wavering. Who center? Yep. That's okay. Oh, you know what? This actually might be a really good opportunity to send the warriors in on the front. Maybe bring this general back over. Okay, you guys have had your fun. See, I mean, hoplites do the job. The main thing that they've been doing is holding the enemy in place. Okay, Thracian warriors, get in it. You guys go get in position to support. Go ahead and just move over. I'm totally fine with those guys fleeing. Okay, you guys break flanks, get over here. You guys push. I'm okay with doing some friendly fire here. That should dust these guys pretty quick. Next target over here. Okay, we're starting to break them. It's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this one. But... Okay. Let's end the battle there. Because I think I'm going to have to... You'll forgive me for not being great at micro, especially when I'm trying to hand it. So I'm not even that good with 20. But anyway, that one was pretty fun to fight. I might even merge these guys. Let's see, how did they do for kills, though? My Thracian warriors... I think that was the first unit I sent in on the flank, and they did really nicely. Bows not accomplishing a ton, of course, but... getting done what they needed to in eliminating some skirmishers.
Oh, I did want to check the... I didn't look at the Peltists. Not a ton of kills, but a few. Alright. Now this is going to give us a public order hit, but I think our public order is pretty well managed, and I wouldn't mind the slave population. Because I've got the trained slaves thing. The trained slaves resource. And I guess because they had nowhere to retreat to, I didn't have to chase them. Wasn't really expecting that, but I am a-okay with it. See, 34, and this one's missing 41, so we can merge them and get rid of the unit just fine. And then recruit another unit of cavalry, probably. Well, whatever we do, we're going to start moving up towards these other cities. At 75 men, that would actually merge just one shy of being a healthy unit. So yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with losing a good unit of warriors. Now let's move you over here, and since I think you're safe, I probably will deploy you into patrol to boost our income, save our food a little bit. And now that we're looking pretty secure here, because I pretty confident Carthage isn't going to attack us anytime soon. We can start to take some of these buildings down and convert the populace. I don't think I need these guys anymore. But I will hold on to them in the meantime anyway. Campany and Cavalry. They have better defense, better morale, better armor. Less range, but that's not a huge problem. Slightly less missile damage, and they shoot slower and have less ammo. Yeah, go for a couple of those guys, why not? Why not? This has been an interesting campaign for me because in my Roman campaign I recruit almost exclusively Roman units, units with the exception of these guys and like Cretan archers, Balearic slingers Pretty much all of my infantry is Roman, all of my cavalry is Roman, or like native. Here I'm recruiting almost exclusively auxiliaries. So it just feels a little odd. You were going to go up here. Maybe I send you up here because you can go further. Yeah, let's see what happens. They do have a fleet they're starting to recruit. Oh boy. Here's where Rome gets exciting. Oh no. They've got sword infantry now. <laughs> Crap. Could be in a spot of trouble here in a moment. But we've got two armies essentially at full strength. We've got a third army recruiting pretty rapidly. Let's actually keep recruiting. I've never used this unit before, so we'll find out if they're any good. And you see, now I don't have access to the these guys. It doesn't even show them on here anymore. So was it this city that was giving me access to them? I don't know. And I'm not going to convert this one just yet, because I want this army dealt with first. I do need to start recruiting again. I've got enough for a couple of units. 
Okay, with 13, we could probably sink this very easily. This one is close enough to defend Apollonia. All right, so we're looking good now. I've already dealt with my armies over here, right? This guy... I'm going to keep him deployed until I can get this other spy deployed, just to make sure we don't lose out on food. As long as my dignitaries are deployed, I think I'm good. There's no level ups I need to do. Now, if I had looted both of those cities, I would be at like, what, 100, 105,000 gold right now? But the public order would be substantially worse. There would be a lot less population. So I think I've made the right call in just occupying. You have time to joke about my people with your usual That activity. is bad timing. I'll go ahead and call my allies to help. Thank goodness neither of them broke the defensive alliance. Please don't attack me. Thank you. I really hope they just peace out. The spirits have noticed that our treasure stores are wanting. Can you help with this small matter? Do I need non-aggression with bastards? I'm gonna say no. Well, I guess if I don't have the balance of power, I can always just retreat, right? It's not like they can chase me. Wow. Well. Alright, now I could just ram them. But I think I am going to go ahead and build my strength some more. Because now I think we've got enough here to hold it. Fairly confidently. It's summer. We take this settlement for the tribe. For the tribe. What would you heading out? First deeper battle. Two. Now again, the danger of auto-resolving is the AI typically sends in my stronger units and gets them beat up pretty bad. But I think I'm feeling pretty safe with auto-resolving this one. We heavily out-missile them, so I can play a protective, and that should save my cavalry a little bit. AI is way better with Peltis than I am. Yeah, but that's kept our cavalry pretty healthy. Overall, we didn't get hurt too bad there. Go ahead and occupy that. Am I dismantling that or building that? I think I'm building that. Yeah, 
I'm going to try and get my supply line boosted. Try and maximize some income here. Did one of these have replenishment? This one has food, so I like that in terms of helping my units survive. Don't really care for that. Let's maybe move into some replenishment with this guy. Now that we're going to be dealing with Roman units that have swords instead of basically exclusively spear units, I am more tempted. Oh, see, I really want that. guys have slightly more armor. These guys fight slightly better. We'll go with these guys. I've never actually used this unit. I hope they are hoplites, not pikes. Usually pikes are in units that are... Their man count is 256 in this game, it seems like, so... 200 man unit should hopefully just be... You know what? Instead of that, let's actually recruit you back up to full strength. And let's go ahead and get some Campanian cavalry. These guys need to sit tight still and keep recruiting. I mostly want swords in this army. I'll accept some light troops just to use as like a flanking unit. Do you know what? I really don't want to use my native population. I want to use the foreigners. These guys do alright. Alright, now, next step. So we've got what we need to siege Rome in terms of technology. Our troops aren't great, but they can do the job. So I think I need to start going into construction. Because construction will give me access to actual cities. Let's do this one for now. See if my mood changes in a few turns. So you can see we're, we've got a pretty severe public order penalty right now because we just conquered. And because we have an army in each city. It's actually, before we recruit that, let's drop you out of the city. Just to bring that public order penalty down a little bit lower. Yeah, see, because I have these warrior units that can't replenish. None of the army can replenish. That's kind of, I kind of hate that mechanic. Like, it would be nice if the foreigner units could replenish, even though these ones wouldn't, but I guess it doesn't work with the game's programming. Oh, the other major problem I need to deal with is these guys. I give you greeting and my attention How much for the would next I need to minutes. pay you? Make your case, but without a lawyer's Not team. that much. Okay, go away. Leave me Gods alone. I don't know why you would have attacked me in the first accept, place. But do not punish my tongue because you my don't like... Does not feel. But they only don't like these guys because I'm friends with them. And now they're at war. Bosphorus... What? Whatever. I think those guys are stupid. In either case, though, 
Uh, I'm not going to wait nine turns for a couple of units. In either case, I will need to keep an army over here, because I'm sure that means they'll declare war on me again in the f near future. Apollonia. With the navy and the garrison, I think they'll actually be all right. So I'm going to bring this army up here for some defense, I think. I guess you guys can meet up on the way. Exchange a couple of units and see what happens. See, if this army had been doing fighting over here, they would pretty much never get any replenishment because this is all warrior population. I think these were freemen. But these are all out of the warrior population. And since I have Z... Not zero, but essentially zero of that over here. That would mean no replenishment for me. All right, enough jabbering. Double check. Did I move my spy? I sort of moved him. Let's go ahead and just keep him here for a minute. I am curious to see whether Rome has conquered anything up here yet. But not that curious. Okay, maybe that curious. Looks like they're thinking about it. Okay, I think he's in Arminium now. So I can deploy him, take Asculum, and not have too much problem. That's a garrison I can definitely beat with two armies, probably even just on auto-resolve real pretty easily. But I mean, you don't attack Rome in auto-resolve, right? So they have hit the first of their reforms. Man, I'm still just messing around. All right, end turn. Now my plan is, since it's going to take several turns for me to get this army to recruit some ballista, get all the way over here, get in position to siege Rome, I think I'm going to try and take maybe both of these cities first. If I can, I'd like to take all three of these before I take Rome. But I'm seriously considering moving my capital to Rome. necessarily a good sign because now that I have discovered Galatia it means they could attack me I don't know why it amuses me so much that usurpers have taken over okay these guys need to go as far as they can these guys I don't need to worry about as much all right, now what units do we want to switch out? We do want some heavy hitters in this army. I would like some shock infantry. You can have these guys as well. So they're gonna have like a weird missile force, but I want archers in my siege army. I don't love the idea of keeping a lot of spears here, but that's basically all I've got. So if we're dropping five out of here, moving four up here. I 
Ah, what the heck, we'll move these guys up. So that means the spearmen have 20. They need to get back over here. I mean, I would want to get rid of all of these soon. But in the meantime, they're all right. Because I think we have enough heavy infantry to at least start the gaps in a siege. All right, what do you think the balance of power is now? Worse. Balance of power is actually more in their favor now. But I think we have to take this fight. Because if we don't, they could land. If they get on land, I don't think I can just handily beat them. But we only have a few ships that can ram. Hmm. Retreat for now, and I'll think about that one. I've got to think about that one before I commit to it. Because with the garrison, if they came from the water, I could definitely beat them, because I could sink probably at least half of this, and then just kill the rest of the garrison. But I'm not confident I can sink all of it in one quick naval battle. casualties have gone up compared with our previous auto resolves and I think that's literally just because of this unit because otherwise the garrison's pretty ah! similar ah! we'll stick with balanced yeah and I don't want the cavalry to get too beat up I probably should that's scaring me a little probably should have gone with a defensive stance. It is tempting. I am sorely tempted to sack this city. But 5,000 gold really isn't that much. Let's loot it, take all the gold, and then just leave. Move out! Warriors all! If we go here, we're still in range to reinforce get this army if they get attacked. Can't get that extra campaign movement just yet. Could get a boost to our weapon damage and morale. We could get a boost to our campaign movement range. We'll do that. Ready for orders. Hate to lose a unit of those guys, but pretty sure it's necessary right now. 
Now, what unit would be good against Romans? What unit can I recruit that will give me the most benefit? Probably not those guys. Fight with us. It's a good life. Let's get some more cavalry. Because that way we'll have cavalry besides the general that can attack. I might even swap him out because, I mean, he's only got 20 men. I might have to replace him just to get that general unit healed. In the meantime, let's just dismantle everything they had here. If they want to come back and take it this turn, that's fine. If they don't, then they're just going to lose some income. I thought I deployed him last turn, but obviously I didn't. Okay, how far in do we need to go to get eyes on Rome? Okay, so we can see Rome from right here. Let's go ahead and see what they've got over here. So they do own that. Dude, Rome just has so many armies. I'm actually kind of concerned. Because they've got four f nearly full stacks. They could easily make this a full stack just with mercenaries in one turn. But I mean, my goodness, that's a lot. And now, well, let's get some recruiting going here as well first. Got a lot of sword infantry here. I think we can drop the mercs. Well, their upkeep's really not too bad. 200 gold per turn, that's not horrible. For medium spears. Maybe I won't get rid of them just yet. I don't really want to just hire these crummy... swords, but... What we don't have here is missiles. So maybe we get some slingers here. take a look at this again. You know what, I think... I think we'll make this choice at the start of the next episode. So, for now, goodbye.